Hey everyone, Moonlight150 here with a post uh, Smash Brothers Direct presentation uh, kind of wrap up. I did do a reaction, but since it was Fire Emblem and I'm not a Fire Emblem person, uh, it was kind of an uninteresting reaction. Though I will say, this is pretty interesting right here. The where to go? Yeah, the Cuphead uh, me costume. I was like. Uh, it was funny, like, in my reaction, I said, is there going to be another costume, like, like there's a big deal, like the Sans one, and we kind of got that with the Cuphead. Although, so with Altair right here, that is, that's a point of discussion right there. Like, why did we get Altair when Ezio is right there? Is Ezio coming in a Smash later? Same with, like, Rabbids. Like, we got two Ubisoft characters here. Anyway, and of course, we'll make it. But anyway, what, I'm, what I want to discuss right now is uh, this right here. Fighters Pass 2. Not only are we getting confirmed another Fighters Pass, but an additional character. So we're getting six characters for this one, which is pretty nuts. But what I'm going to... Well, this is kind of one of my favorite discussion points uh, when the Fighters Pass was first revealed last year. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's get the... Oh, I don't think I can get rid of the thing right, but I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can because it's zoomed in a little bit. But all Challenger Packs will be released by December 31st, 2021. So that's what I was looking for. I didn't notice it in my initial reaction, but as soon as I turned off my reaction, got a drink, um, cooled off a little bit that it was another Fire Emblem character, <laughs> um, I went back and thought, wait, in the announcement of the... Fighters Pass, did they announce when all the packs would be out? And they did, so I went back to the video and found this. So, this is what I want to discuss, is I realize that is a long time, because we are in January of 2020. So, and this goes all the way to December, the end of 2021, so I think it's pretty much exactly two years of, for six characters, which makes you think, well, they did five characters in, what, just a little over a year? So, six characters should be no problem, but the problem is, how are they going to be spacing this? Because five characters in the span of just a little over a year, because the past started in December of 2019, or 2018. Uh, granted, we didn't get Joker until April of 2019, so it depends on when did they get... So I'm going to guess they've already started on Challenger Pack 6, Challenger Pack maybe 7's in early development, Challenger Pack 8 is in, like, conceptual development. He did say the six have already been chosen, so they're at least that far. But what I find interesting is what now I'm thinking is they we might get like we we came to the wire here with this challenge pack. Like the initial challenger pack one said, or fighters pass one said that all characters would be out by February uh, 2020, and we're just pushing that line by like a half a month, so. Granted, they never specified a date in February, it just said February, so it could have been the end of February, but nonetheless, we're pushing it like a month before that release, uh, or that deadline. So it's kind of interesting to see they now have given themselves two years now, like another six months pretty much, or let's see. If we don't count December uh, for Fighters Pass 1, so it's pretty much 14 months, and they're now giving themselves... 24 months so additional a lot of months <laughs> to uh, 10 months basically to get another character out so one of two things is gonna happen with this so I pulled up a calendar here on uh, Google uh, sorry this I can't edit the size of my oh, can I no I can't edit my oh I can't cool I can, at least I can move it okay here we go uh, so I pulled up a calendar for 2020 and then I can just click over to 2021 here so we're gonna try to figure out how is this going to release. So, like I said, they we got to assume they've already gone started at least on the first of them, number six here. Let's move this back over here. Um, we assume they've at least started this, probably like in pre-production of this guy. Like I said. So, when can we expect information? Well, I think the best thing, or best guess right now is we're going to get the first character, maybe even the first and second character, come this E3. Which is right here. Uh, if 
Nintendo follows the same pattern that they did last year. It would be this Thursday right here, June 11th. Uh, this is most likely our best bet because here's the other thing. Six characters in over two years. We're only getting two E3s. And, of course, they're going to make announcements at E3. They want people exposed to the Fighters Pass. Like, people buy the Fighters Pass. So, obviously, this is going to be when a character or two, like we did with Hero and Banjo, is going to get revealed. The question is, are we going to get a character before then? Well, there is a Nintendo Direct more than likely coming before E3. I know a lot of people were suspecting a January Direct is when we would get Fighter Pass. Uh, character number five, but it got its own special thing. So, I don't think we're gonna get character number one revealed at a, whatever the upcoming Nintendo Direct is, whether it's the end of January, sometime in February. I don't think so. Now, could we possibly get another Nintendo Direct in between there, like right before E3, like March, April, or May? Uh, I would have to look and see the consistency of Nintendo Directs before E3. Like, if we got one in January, do we get another one before E3? Because I don't think so. I'm starting to think Nintendo is putting a lot of eggs in their basket for E3, so they hold out on a lot of announcements until then. So, I'm willing to bet we're not going to see the first character until E3. Maybe even the second. But beyond that, it becomes really difficult to guess how uh, this is going to play out. It kind of is interesting we're starting this, like, the pass comes out January 28th. Like, so they're te this is technically their start date. Just like how with Fighters Pass 1, the start date was technically when you bought it, when the game came out, when Joker was revealed. So, we consider this our starting point. January 28th is our starting point. So we're not going to be counting January pretty much, but we count February all the way to December 2021. Now it's kind of easy to break it up into threes or twos, basically. We'll get, since there's six characters, we get three characters a year. We're going to get three more characters in 2020 and three characters in 2021, which I guess kind of works. Because if you think about it, we get announcement of one or two characters at E3 in June. They release maybe one releases right away in June because they've get, they're gonna have maybe December, January, February, March, April, May to get this character done. Number six. So I could see um, number six shadow dropping E3 or maybe like a week after or something like that. I do think that's a really good possibility. The second character, number seven, probably could release in like the fall area, and then maybe number eight releases in like the winter which brings us to 2021 now 2021 is going to be where it gets tricky because actually now that i'm thinking about it they even sakurai himself said in the video they do take a while they take a uh, vacation during the holidays very seriously so i it's possible we could only be getting two characters like byleth could be considered our third character for this year so we could be getting Byleth here, number six, and number seven. So five, six, seven. They take this time off, like the November, December area, because they said they filmed this Byleth direct in November, which is pretty nuts. Uh, so, oh, I didn't think, I didn't consider that. Like, Byleth could be considered our, one of our 2020 characters. So we get Byleth, six, seven. Okay. So I think this is how 2020 is gonna go. We get Byleth here. We get two the other we get two characters announced at E3, which one will release either on E3, like it'll shadow drop at the end of the direct, or very close to it. It's gonna be like sometime in the time span of June. And they'll announce the second character, but it'll say fall, like kinda like how Terry was. And he'll re and they'll release August, September, October, somewhere around there. They're going to go on holiday break, November to December, which we'll get another probably direct in around this time. We we'll, might get a character like in the early spring area, like February, March, April, something like that. Uh, that would be who would that be? Number eight. Then we we'll probably go back to E3 here for 2021 for that Nintendo Direct for E3. Probably get the next two characters announced. Hold up. 
Well, I'm gonna write this out real quick. Oh, let's uh, notepad. So, Byleth comes out January. DLC six. I'm gonna say June for E3. DLC seven. So let's put a uh, 2020 here. DLC seven. It's gonna be like fall 2020. And then getting to 2020, so DLC 8, DLC 9, DLC 10, and DLC 11. So we got four characters just planned out in 2021. So I could see... Um, just put it down here. So I could see DLC 8 being sometime around what Byleth is now. So, like, spring 2020. Like, early spring, like, late winter, like, January, February, early spring, March, April. Uh, then we get... Let's just put it right here, in between DLC. So, DLC uh, 9 and 10 will probably get announced at E3. Of course, this is all assuming that they go all out like they did with Hero and Banjo, where they announced two characters. They could not. They could easily just do one character. But I think it's safe to assume we get at least one character announced at each E3. Um, so then, DLC 9 probably releases not too far. Now that's, we'll say, summer. And maybe fall and winter? The only problem with this is the fact that, like we got with Violet, they take the holidays very seriously and the f and they, uh, this is when it's supposed to end, in December 2021. So, I think it's entirely possible, like, how we just came up on the end of, uh, February, like, almost February, like, maybe two, three weeks away from February, that Fighters Pass 1 ended. It's probably gonna be the same thing with December, like, I think we're probably gonna get DLC number 11, probably November, like, we usually get in November direct, so we could possibly get that character, uh, so let's put that here, so we'll probably put November. So then, they're all done with the DLC, they go on holiday vacation. So... Late summer, fall for DLC 10. And... DLC 9 I could see like around the E3 time again. I think with them being so caught up on development now, they could easily start... Like, they're getting a head start on these DLC. Because they're giving themselves so much time. Uh, let's go back to 2020, because like I said, we're getting Byleth here, and they're going to have February, March, April, May, June to start working on more characters. Like, they're probably already knee-deep in development of the next one already, and they're going to be using this time to be working on, you know, some of the 2021 characters. So, yeah, I could see... Okay, so June... So, okay, this is my final prediction. So we're going to get DLC number 6 around June E3-ish 2020, because like I said, they're going to have all this time to be working on them. So he's probably going to get revealed, and then released. I wonder if that's going to become the new pattern, if there's going to be the, the announcement and the release like within real close time of each other. Nothing like the Terry release or the Banjo release, where we know about them, and then we speculate about them for a couple months until they release. I think they're not going to be doing a whole lot of that. I think they're going to be doing a lot more things like Byleth, where they announce and release probably close to each other. So here we go. So Byleth here, January 2020. Uh, DLC 6, the summer is June, July. DLC 7, the fall of 2020. They take their holiday break of November, December. Uh, coming into 2021, we probably get another early year character. Like, right after the holiday break, like Byleth, so that'll be DLC 8. We don't hear anything until, once again, DE3 of 2021, which where we probably, hopefully, get the dual reveal of 9 and 10. One will be the summer, like, not too long after E3, if maybe at E3. Uh, DLC 10 comes in, the, like, the late fall. Probably, like, if they shadow drop uh, number 9 at E3, they could easily do, like... August, September for, like, maybe August for DLC 10, and then, or maybe it's like, September, and then number 11 comes out right before they go on holiday break. 
in uh, no, like November. Like I don't think they're gonna actually gonna reach December for the last character. Kind of like how they didn't reach February for Fighters Pass One. They just got like right before then. So anyway, I think that's all I want to talk about. Um, it's really not much to talk about with the whole Biola thing. It's just more Fire Emblem. <laughs> I think the only disappointing thing about that was I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought there was a quote out there from Reggie or for someone that the DLC was going to be introducing new characters from new franchises that haven't been in Smash. But we have Fire Emblem, so this makes me curious about what happened. Like, did Nintendo push Byleth because uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses was so successful? Like, did he originally have a plan for some other character? But then Nintendo was like, nope, nope, we need Byleth. And he he's now... Maybe that's how we got the sixth character in Fighters Pass 2, is the fact that they outed another character who's maybe be, who might be DLC 7 or 6, and they shoved in Byleth, like, okay, Byleth now. Like, maybe Sakurai planned Byleth later for Fighters Pass 2, but the, Nintendo was like, no. Get Byleth in there now. <laughs> it was like, we want to arrive on the success of Fire Emblem Three Houses. It just, it's winning a lot. It's selling good. I'm sure the Game Awards didn't really mean much because it, they just happened. Uh, so that's a, that's a, a conspiracy theory right there. Anyway, so this is how I'm kind of seeing the release schedule right now. So we got, like I said, Byleth, DLC Six, June E3ish, 2020. Fall 2020 for DLC number 7. They go on break. We get DLC number 8 spring, which makes sense. It's, once again, dividing into threes. Then we get E3 again, where we get 9 and 10 revealed. They get released in the summer, summer, late fall, and then December 11, like, November-ish. With that, because there's usually a Nintendo Direct in November. Anyway, uh, I want to do some more discussion videos like this. I have a couple more topics I want to talk about. But if you enjoy these, uh, let me know by liking and subscribing. And leaving a comment on what, what you think. What do you think about my conspiracy theory that Nintendo shoved Byleth uh, at the last second? Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.